Hey my Pisceans, welcome to your weekly love reading, December 3rd to the 9th. Before we get started, let me just say, I had to redo this video. <laughs> if you haven't watched the Cancer video, well it's still uploading. Um, I literally had them and within the debacle of the internet shit, I was trying to upload them and then poof, they disappeared. Like flat out disappeared. I was pretty peeved, so we gotta do your reading over, Pisces. Alright, so for those of you who are uh, pretty new to my channel, I'm gonna do a little intro for those of you who already know the game. Uh, go about, uh, yeah, about like two minutes in, two minutes in. First, a quick shout out to all my patrons. Thank you guys so much, I really appreciate it. If you haven't checked out my Patreon page, go and check it out now. The uploads are taking longer this week because of all the issues, tech issues I've been having, so please be patient. <coughs> Those of you new to my channel, new to Tarot, please know these are very general readings for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Since they are general, they will not resonate with everybody. Messages come through for those who need to hear them. Sometimes that's major collective. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's a small portion of major collective. Sometimes it's you. Sometimes it's not. So <laughs> whatever the story is, that's a story that needs to be told that week. And if it's not your story, sorry, it's just not your story. I do get multiple messages sometimes for different groups of um, Pisces or the sign that I'm doing the reading for so stick around you might see something for you also know that since we're working with energy uh, messages can go both ways it could be for you your partner your co-workers your family anyone that you interact with very very regularly that you have a loving feeling for okay or who has a loving feeling for you um love comes in all shapes sizes and colors also don't get hung up on the gender of the cards nothing's gender specific everyone has masculine energy and feminine energy okay all right pisces let's get this going any messages for my Pisceans in love, December 3rd to the 9th. Any messages for my Pisceans in love, December 3rd to the 9th. Any messages for my Pisceans in love, December 3rd to the 9th. Any messages for my Pisceans in love, December 3rd to December 9th. Okay, one more. Any messages for my Pisceans in love, December 3rd to December 9th. All right, yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Uh, in the pre-shuffle, I will say I did see the Justice card, which has been coming out a lot for people. Um, I think this is the week of confessions. I think, you know, that special message I got in the beginning of the week, I'm so glad I posted it, because I'm telling you, this seems to be the running theme of the week. Everyone's confessing shit. Everyone's popping off at the mouth. I popped off at the mouth a couple times this week. Um, not so good. <laughs> not so good. Uh, any messages from my Pisceans in love? December 3rd to December 9th. Oh, shit. Really? That's how we're going to start this off? I got the Ten of Cups in reverse out here. Any messages from my Pisceans in love? December 3rd to December 9th. Any messages from my Pisceans in love? December 3rd to December 9th. Yeah. Any messages from my Pisceans in love? December 3rd to December 9th. Okay. Ugh. Someone's working too much. Oh, shit. Someone's working too much and someone's got some control issues. Okay, so overall energy, we have five of wands. almost said five of wands. Five of swords. And maybe, maybe with five of wands, maybe there was some fighting going on, Pisces. Five of swords in reverse. Okay, this is defeat, guilt. Someone made you feel really, really icky and they, they didn't really give two shits about it, did they? Um... But it's a passing energy. You're letting it pass. You're tr well, you're trying to. You're trying really hard to let this feeling pass, okay? Now, the cards that we have, we have the Ten of Cups in reverse. These two came out together. The Four of Swords in reverse with the Eight of Pentacles. This is someone who's working way too much. I feel the drain of my energy, okay? Working way too much on something. And then we have the uh, Four of Pentacles with the Magician in reverse. This is... Uh, Gemini and Aquarian energy. For me as a reader, it's also Scorpio. So we see lots of earth here, Pisces. I see lots of earth. I see, of course, I see water and some air. Um, but the magician has all the tools at his disposal, so we can have all the elements up in here. Um, so yeah, someone feels like a, tr like a, a, like a very controlling, uh, energy over here. Like, I don't think a lot of people realize this person is controlling in, like, in you know, day to day. But I almost feel like they have control issues because they it's all it's almost OCD like. It's almost OCD like is what I'm sensing. It's like there's so much about themselves they can't control, so they have to control everything else. You understand what I'm saying? Um, 
Well, let's look at this Ten of Cups in reverse. Let's see what's got you so sad, my little Pisces. Uh, I love Pisceans, I do. Um, I never get to meet a lot of them, though, interestingly enough. It's one of those signs. Not a lot of people are born in February and March. Um, clarify Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And if you follow Vedic, March and April. Clar clarify Ten of Cups in reverse. Clarify Ten of Cups in reverse for my Pisceans in love. December 3rd to the 9th. Clarify Ten of Cups in reverse for my Pisceans in love. December 3rd to the 9th. Clarify Ten of Cups in Reverse for my Pisceans in Love, December 3rd to the 9th. Also, I forgot to mention, for those of you that resonate with the Divine Masculine title, this is my Divine Masculine card. Just letting you know. Clarify Ten of Cups in Reverse for my Pisceans in Love, December 3rd to the 9th. But someone's got you just feeling really crappy. It's got to be this Magician character. Clarify Ten of Cups in Reverse. Excuse me. Clarify Ten of Cups in Reverse. <clears throat> Clarify Ten of Cups in Reverse. Clarify Ten of Cups in Reverse for my Pisceans in Love, December 3rd to the 9th. Clarify Ten of Cups in Reverse. Clarify Ten of Cups in Reverse. Ooh, Clarify Ten of Cups. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, freaking A. Okay. All right, Pisces. So the, the reason why you're so sad, someone did some deceptive shit that broke your connection. All right, deceptive, deceptive shit. And this is shit that's like in the past. Okay, so this is something that got brought up that you didn't know about. And you're like, wait, what did you do? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what this is. Something that took place a while ago. And to clarify this sadness, we have Page of Cups in reverse, like not coming forward with emotion. No apology. No apology was given for this. <sighs> Pisces. <sighs> oh, I just got away the sadness. I'm sorry. I actually like, was about to tear up. I was like, oh shit, no, I gotta hold that shit in. Um, not gonna cry. <laughs> not gonna cry. Um, but you're hurting. I'm surprised that the Three of Swords isn't out here. Usually I only get like that if the Three of Swords is out here or the Nine of Swords, but I feel it. You, some some of my Pisceans are really, really hurt by this. Oof. Okay, I gotta clarify the Seven of Swords. Um, we'll use the Vice Versa deck. I just, I'm a little afraid of saying this energy too long. Clarify Seven of Swords in reverse. It was like, it was the no apology. That's what it was. When I hit that card, it was like, oh my God. It just like, it hit me like in my chest and my throat. It was like, shit. It's like, you know, that feeling of, and they didn't even apologize. Clarify seven of swords in reverse. Clarify seven of swords in reverse. My Pisceans in love. December 3rd to the 9th. Clarify Hold on. Got, got too many cards on one side. <laughs> I can barely get my hand around it. Clarify Seven of Swords in reverse for my Pisceans in love. Clarify Seven of Swords in reverse for my Pisceans in love, December 3rd to the 9th. Clarify the Seven of Swords. It's a weird noise. Clarify Seven of Swords. You guys heard that too, right? Clarify Seven of Swords. Clarify Seven of Swords for my Pisceans in love, December 3rd. Well, that was a cat. <laughs> that was definitely my cat. To the 9th. Let's see what we got here. Clarify Seven of Swords in reverse. Clarify Seven of Swords in reverse for my Pisceans in love, December 3rd to the 9th. Okay. Clarify Seven of Swords in reverse. Clarify Seven of Swords in reverse. Ooh. Okay, so ugh. overall energy around the Seven of Swords in reverse is the judgment card. This is the other side. This is the side you guys have in your reading. Uh, you see the, the bird in the sun right there? Um, that's about wisdom. Okay. So the, 
whoever did the deceit made a very bad choice. Very, very bad choice. Um, and it's come out, it's come to light. And it's kind of, it's not kind of, I mean, it's caused a major rift here. Um, but more so than that, it's just, I just, I keep wanting to shake my head. It's like, I almost, I know it sounds crazy, but I almost feel like the divine is like, they're shaking their heads. Like this person's guides are just like, oh. <laughs> you know, I just keep wanting to do that. There's like so much, there's shame. There's a lot of shame here. Um, I'm not justifying anything, but whatever this was, <clears throat> um, whatever the deceit was, this person feels a lot of shame about it. Okay. Um, to clarify the Seven of Swords, we have oops, we have the Devil, Capricorn Energy, uh, and then we have the Seven of Pentacles, Earth Energy. There's a lot of Earth. This is weird to me because this to me says, I really wasted my time. Oh, I got it. Shit, I got it. I really wasted my time indulging in these toxic behaviors, toxic relationships, and yes, relationships. Um, and they've let it go since. It's been released, whatever this addiction, codependency, toxicity was, it's been released since then, but that's what they're disappointed about. They're disappointed that they invested time in those acts. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, this is a person who's carrying a lot of shame. I'm not justifying it, Pisces, I'm not. And again, you know who you are in the story. Um, but they do feel shame, I'm just saying. Now let's look at this person. Someone's working a lot, okay? What are you working on? It's either you or your partner, Pisces. What are you working on? Clarify Eight of Pentacles. Clarify Eight of Pentacles for my Pisceans in love, December 3rd to the 9th. Clarify Eight of Pentacles for my Pisceans in love, December 3rd to the 9th. <clears throat> Clarify Eight of Pentacles for my Pisceans in love, December 3rd to the 9th. Really tired of working on something. And it's something like being worked on diligently. Ooh. Clarify Eight of Pentacles for my Pisces in love, December 3rd to the 9th. Clarify Eight of Pentacles for my Pisceans in love, December 3rd to the 9th. Clarify Eight of Pentacles for my Pisceans in Love, December 3rd to the 9th. Clarify Eight of Pentacles. Clarify Eight of Pentacles. Hold on a second. Okay. <clears throat> Clarify Eight of Pentacles for my Pisceans in Love. Clarify Eight of Pentacles. Overall energy, we have Four of Pentacles for the Eight of Pentacles. This is someone who can't let go can't let go of working but they're they're exhausted oh Pisces this is your partner they're trying to work on a new beginning with you we're underneath the four pentacles we have the ace of wands they can't let go of a new beginning and that's what they're working towards but they're exhausted all right so what's clarifying the eight of pentacles they have the eight of swords Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy, Three of Wands, and then King of Cups in reverse, Scorpio energy. Could also be Cancer, Pisces, or Aries. I don't know why I was about to say Aries. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Maybe you're dealing with an Aries. I don't see a whole lot of fire here, though. Actually, the only fire card I see is the Magician. <laughs> anyway. Not being able to look over New Beginning. Trying really hard to work towards that. They're exhausting themselves. This is the weirdest energy. It's like they did some soul searching and they've come out of that, right? They've come out of their soul searching, but they're still feeling trapped, which tells me they didn't do a whole lot of soul searching. And I think that's also what they're working on is trying to get unstuck. But they're exhausted because they didn't do the soul searching properly. You know what I mean? Um... And they're, oh, okay, I see. And they're waiting, waiting for their ships to come in, waiting for you. And they see you as the King of Cups, as someone who's not offering any emotion right now. And you probably aren't. How could you? I mean, I felt that pain. I felt that pain, Pisces. How could, how could you come to this person? I, I mean, fuck me, fuck you. <laughs> you know, it's like, 
That was some real pain. That was some deep pain. I wouldn't come to this person's way. And that's what I mean. It's like, there's this controlling factor here. And oh my god, I didn't even realize. Four of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles with this controlling energy that I was sensing. Yeah, they're overworking themselves to death, practically, trying to get out of this trapped feeling. But they can't. Even though they did the soul searching, they're like, okay, I'm good. But they're not. They're not good. That's why they're exhausted all the time. Um, and like they're, yeah, they're just waiting. They're waiting. They're waiting. They're waiting. And they're waiting for you. But I really don't feel like you're giving any emotion right now. You're like, no, I can't. And it's funny, you're taking on almost a, scor a negative Scorpionic energy, which I gotta say, probably not a bad choice for this situation. <laughs> um, Scorpios, and they're in a negative headspace, like, yes, they're known for their venom. Yes, they're known for being particularly painful. But you know what? This person, I don't know what they did. I mean, I felt the pain. Whatever they did, it was very, very toxic. And they knew they wasted their time doing it. It could have been lust. It could have been greed it could have been drugs it could have been it could have been alcohol alcoholism it could have been so many things it's not clear to me i think it's very different things for all my pisces i think that's why it's not super clear as to what that one thing was i think it was a lot of different things in different scenarios and they just they haven't done the proper work they keep doing work but it's not soul work there you go it's not soul work okay they might be trying to like save their money up for you to be like, hey, let's go on a trip or, oh, look, I got this ring for you. I got this necklace for you or, oh, look, I, I fixed your favorite thing or whatever it is. Um, it's like that's the stuff they're working on and they're killing themselves doing it, wondering why you're not coming their way. It's like because you're not doing the work that matters. You're not doing the soul work, right? Now we have Magician in Reverse of the Four of Pentacles. Um, I really feel like they just can't let go of you, but we'll clarify the Four of Pentacles. Why not? We'll go for it. Clarify. What's this? Oh, no, I don't need that. Go away. Clarify Four of Pentacles for my Pisces and love, December 3rd to the 9th. Clarify Four of Pentacles. God, everyone's going through it this week. Clarify Four of pe Pentacles for my Pisceans and love. Clarify Four of Pentacles for my Pisceans and love. Clarify Four of Pentacles for my Pisceans and love. December 3rd to the 9th. So I thought he was eating my book. Sorry. Clarify Four of Pentacles for my Pisceans and love. December 3rd to the 9th. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Clarify Four of Pentacles. You'll see what I'm talking about. Clarify Four of Pentacles for my Pisceans and love, December 3rd to December 9th. Clarify Four of Pentacles for my Pisceans and love. Clarify Four of Pentacles for my Pisceans and love. Clarify Four of Pentacles. Okay. Overall energy. <laughs> oh my god. Gotta pull this out. Around the Four of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Wands with the Three of Swords. Yeah, they're very burdened by this heartache. This isn't you. This is them. Well, this is all like Pisces partner reading. I think you guys are just like off on your own trying to heal. I think that's what this is. Um, I think that's why it's only your partner really coming through. But that's the energy. It's like the, the heartache is killing them. Okay, and it's killing them because they can't let go of what was. They can't let go that you guys have this, that you were very happy together, and that even if you didn't have this, that you were on your way to this, or the idea of this, right? They just can't let go of this association with association with you and complete, total love fulfillment. Now, we also have the Hierophant Taurus energy in reverse, and then with the Ace of Cups in reverse. This is someone who's got too big fat of an ego to be committed. All right, this is also saying they threw this out the window. All right, they knew they have this. They knew they're on their way to this. Commitment was presented, maybe. Or maybe you guys are about to hit a big milestone. And they freaked out. They freaked out, as far as I'm concerned. Um, and they threw the commitment and, and chance of love out the window. They're like, nope. Again, this also means a really big ego and, like, commitment issues, breaking agreements. They broke an agreement with you about being happy in love together. I mean, just plain and simple. Now, we also have this other line. That, wow. Wow. 
They're trying to find their peace. Ten of Swords in reverse with the Five of Pentacles in reverse with the Six of Swords. Yeah, it's like they're trying to get out of this feeling of, like, massive ending and being out in isolation, right? They're turning this around by trying to move into calmer waters in life, maybe even trying to plan. Possibly trying to plan more offers of new beginnings with you. If you've gotten one already, please expect another one. Um, but the problem is, they're the magician in reverse, which means they can't manifest right now. They want to, but they can't because they're holding on so damn tight to what they think they deserve and what they think that belongs to them, essentially. It's a very controlling energy. I really don't like it. Um, as far as signs that I see, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus. I don't know if I said Taurus. Capricorn. Oh, so you got, like, basically all the um, Earth signs here. Um, all the Earth signs here. And then... Lots of air. Lots and lots of air. Yeah. Okay, let's pull from the Romance Angels deck and see what's going on. Let's see what they have to say. I don't know why. I just feel like unrequited love is going to come up. But let's see. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But that's just what I'm feeling here. It's like, Pisces, you're not even here. This is all your partner. Okay? You're not even here, which tells me it's like you're off healing, doing your own thing. So I can't imagine if they came to you that you would even be receptive because you're in a, you're in some pain right now the only the only thing i felt of you was was this energy that's it the the sadness oh god no no not touching those guys the sadness and the lack of apology that was given to that was not you know, obviously not given to you um and like almost cutting off your emotion to cope for some of you any messages for my piscians in love any messages for my Pisceans in love? Oops. Any messages for my Pisceans in love? December 3rd to the 9th. Any messages for my Pisceans in love? December 3rd to the 9th. Any messages for my Pisceans in love? December 3rd to the 9th. I'm like, I don't... <laughs> I was like, wasn't sure. My guys were like, no, just toss it. It's like, okay. <laughs> Any messages for my uh, Pisces and love? December 3rd to December 9th. Any messages for my Pisceans and love? December 3rd to December 9th. I got some weird cards coming out here. Let's see what we have. Interesting. What? Okay. I'm surprised there's no unrequited love. That was gonna, you know, if it happens, it happens. But I really still feel, I'm, you know what, I'm still holding to that. I, there was a reason that card came into my head. There's a reason I said it. Some of you Pisceans, don't have enough love for this love left for this person to be with them. I'm just gonna say that, for sure, because I felt it. I felt it. I gotta run with my gut. I'm intuitive. I gotta just trust it. Now there are cards here to indicate, you know, a rekindling of some sort in the future. So for those that want that, it looks like it's on the table. First card out though for overall energy, we have love yourself first. Your self respect makes you more romantically attractive. And Pisces, you know that. That's why you're not here. <laughs> That's why you're not on the board. That's why it's only your partner, because you are loving yourself. You're not going to put yourself through that kind of pain and, and um, you know, subject yourself to this person's attempts when they haven't done the work, right? They haven't done the soul work in order to fix this situation. And you know that. And I think that's why you're staying away, because you do love yourself. You do. Now, we do have finance. Oopsie. Finances and career. Remember I said, it's like I felt like someone's working really hard, trying to get, like, in even a sense of trying to get their money right. Um, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So, Pisces, I really feel like it's your partner, not you, that's having the financial struggles. Because I, I, I did get this sense of, like, trying to wrangle up money for you. Um, and again, it's like, it's more offers. It's more of those tangible physical offers when you're just like, I just want you to, to work on your stuff. <laughs> I just... I just want you to like be nice and be respectful like that's all I want I don't need things I mean things are nice but 
No, I need a, I need a partner I can count on, okay? <laughs> Pisces, that's what you want. Now, you do have attraction. You're, uh, Deba, you, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. This is about really living in the moment, all right? And enjoying the little bits of happiness that come your way, because I know you're not feeling a whole lot of that right now. And I'm really sorry, Pisces. Whoever I was tapping into with that sadness, I'm really sorry, okay? Um, but you gotta take those nice moments as they come and enjoy it. Soak it up. And definitely this is also about manifest. I don't know if I said this. Manifesting. We have another manifesting card here. The stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And it will. If you are in a very positive state of mind and you're very happy and you have a lot of self-love and you just keep looking forward. And I, I mean this. I posted a little thing about it too. Go and look at Water Baby Advice. If, you, if you're curious, you don't have to. If you keep looking back in the past, you can't look at your future. You can't move towards your future. Stop looking for your future and your past, okay? Stay optimistic. Stay positive. Keep pushing forward. Keep loving yourself. And love that matches your vibration will find you. It will. If you're doing all the right stuff and, the, and being positive, the right love will find you. It will. If you don't want to be with this person. If you want to be with this person, it's saying keep manifesting and be optimistic because things are going to work out. And like I said, I really feel like for some of you, there is a rekindling. Others of you, you, there's just not enough love left. And you know which group you're in. You know. If you're done with this person, you're like, fuck them. If you kind of want things to work out, you'll be like, are they coming back? You'll know. <laughs> okay, you will know. Uh, now we do have um, these two cards that came out. We have trust and true love. I know, I was really surprised that true love came out. The situation is calling for you to have faith. This, ro this is the romance of a lifetime. So again, for those of you who know you want to be with this person, like I said, I definitely felt like there was a possibility because this person is, is very controlling and they're not going to stop. They're not going to stop. They're going to be very, very persistent, okay? Trust because there's true love here. If you want it. Those of you who are done, you're done. Move on. You know, and, and for those of you who are done, maybe that's not true love for you. Maybe it's only true love for those that are reconnecting. And again, you'll know because you're going to want to be with this person if you're going to reconnect with them. If you aren't going to reconnect with them, you're, 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 you, know, you know you're done with this person. You understand what I'm saying? A or B. You know who you are. Now we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So this could happen as a result of both situations. Maybe for those who are leaving this person behind, maybe you're going to learn a lot about yourself and also meet someone new and get to know someone new. Getting to know yourself better, getting to know others better. For those of you that are, you know, coming together, it's going to be like having to get to know each other again, okay? Because when there's this much pain and a breaking down of a commitment, a relationship, it's like, it is like you don't know each other anymore. It really is. I've been there. We've all been there. All right? And it's about taking the time to get to know each other again and what you guys need in a relationship, what's expected in a relationship, what your needs are, what your wants are. And how to balance that with each other to have a help, happy, healthy relationship, period. Hey guys, sorry. Blame it on Mercury. My phone cut out. <laughs> no rhyme or reason. It just stopped recording. So I just wanted to, uh, thank God the video was basically over. <sighs> Maybe I'll just give up for tonight. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I'm so tired. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, Pisces. And I really hope that you guys, you know, take it easy. I know it's going to be a little bit of a rough week for you. Okay? So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out Patreon um, for those of you who haven't checked it out yet. Okay? All right. Have a good night, guys. Don't let Mercury hit you in the ass like it has me. See you later. Bye.